Hi, it's Skip from Skip's Messy Workbench, and I want to just give you a brief update on my progress on the AMT 66 Mustang that I've been working on. And actually, I haven't been working on it much, but I did make a little bit of progress. So, hey, follow me to the shop, and I'll give you the update. Hi, we're here in the shop and um, I didn't make a lot of progress on the 66 Mustang to date um, but I hadn't made a video video in a while so I thought okay I'll just do a quickie here and sometimes my quickies turn into longies <laughs> if that's a word which I doubt if it is anyway um, I've been I had been working on the engine and I um, got some modifications that I made to this engine for one thing the engine had this this pipe that I actually cut here and I'll sh show you a slide off to the side here off to the side over here I cut this and that was supposed to be the oil fill filler I didn't like that so I had actually just cut that piece off and then over on the valve cover I drill the hole and I put that cover or that oil filler on the valve cover where I feel it belongs so I made that little modification on uh, on the other side I don't know if you can see it on the camera I drill the hole here to mount a PVC valve uh, at which I'm in the process of fabricating myself because uh, to, to make it to scale, it's really just going to be a piece of wire and some insulation to act as the hose. The one thing that I had to do on this was that in order to fit the header on, when I put the header piece on, it, it was sticking up above so that these areas right in here were sticking up almost even with the top of the valve covers and that definitely wasn't correct in fact and I don't know if it's going to be easily seen on here there was an enormous gap in between the the block or the header type on the block and the intake manifold so I lit and it's still not a hundred percent correct what I literally had to do was I had to shave out these areas on both sides of the the heads in order to get that intake manifold to lay properly in that channel and again it's still not quite right uh, I'm still working on that slightly I'm, I'm gonna see what I can do with that I'm not happy with it um, but it might be that it's gonna be what it's gonna be <laughs> all right so I've been working on that part of it. I have the the pulleys and the belt pretty much detailed the way they're going to be so that they'll go on the front of the engine. I painted the battery and again it's going to be difficult and you can see I, I added just a little bit of of um, of a point let me get my pointer here I added a little bit of color just to get some the, the, of the battery terminals and then a, a little bit of red on the caps what I did though was because this mounts on the on this piece of, of uh, front end metal work there were at one point two tabs that were on the bottom of the battery and I believe they were on this side but they were so so tiny and so very very tiny and those 
hole or those tabs would have went into these two holes well during the cleanup process they just they just came off I mean <laughs> you couldn't help it so what I'm doing is I'm taking some I'm just taking some uh, styrene and I'm in the process right now of making a battery tray which I will then mount some wire on it so that I can pin it to this structure and then set the battery on it uh, just just like it would be in, a, in an actual vehicle so that's in progress I have the second the second coat of paint on the body and all the other parts and what I'm going to be doing is uh, this has to be sanded yet and it has to have a clear coat put on and stuff so we're on our way with that the dashboard I've been working I did the dashboard in the same as the body color and I just now started to do a little bit of detail work on it so I put a, a, a wash in here that's that's going to be the color of the uh, interior it's it's Tamiya desert yellow I thought it kind of went pretty neat with the green but I, this is just a first a first pass on this it, so it's not looking real good yet um, I just made a wash and started filling in I plan to do the gauges and some of the, the dials and stuff here so I'm in the process of detailing the dashboard that's that's coming along and then what I found was as I was dry fitting some things <laughs> I figured you know I'm gonna put the wheels in so I did and these wheels have metal axles and I slipped them in through the holes and when you put the wheels on First of all, you can see there's a lot of slop side to side. Let me turn, maybe you can see it better upside down. A lot of slop side to side. And when you put the tires on, and I'm using the custom tires, I better get the right one here. This is the front tires. You can see there's a lot of slop there. When I had the body on it, um, they, they stick way out beyond the fender. So I'm going to have to trim these axles to fit in there properly. So, and that's not a big deal, but it's just something that I didn't expect to happen. So, um, that's pretty much where we are on this thing right now. I haven't had a lot of time to work on it lately. And um, so, this is the status that it's in. I'm waiting. I, I'm, I did not even do anything with the tub except I taped off the floor areas where I'm going to be doing some flocking on it. Um, like I said, I am going to do it in this Tamiya XF59 Desert Yellow. I think it goes really well with that green. And then uh, I want to flock the floors. So I need to prime this yet. I also have decided that I'm going to use a standard shift so I, I need to locate a shifter boot or make one one of the two um, and then um, start detailing out the interior after I get it primed and, and paint it the base color but I'm also I ordered flocking and it has not come yet so I'm waiting on that to come in uh, before I do much else to this Anyway, that's where we are on this guy, and it was just a, this is just a quick update. So, um, I guess I'll see you around in the next video. And thanks for watching. Listen, if, if you uh, haven't subscribed to my channel, please give it a subscribe, hit the bell so you get notifications, give it a thumbs up if you like the video, give it a thumbs down if you don't like it. I learned from those thumbs downs, even though I've never gotten any. <laughs> and uh, anyway, I, I, that's about it for this time around. Like I said, I'm going to keep it short because I didn't get a whole lot done other than painting. And you don't need to see somebody painting <laughs> so, or even somebody gluing.
anyway I'll uh, I'll see you around later I'll, I'll be back maybe in about another week or so with hopefully some more progress so talk to you again soon bye